Today, I fancied doing a video that will hopefully break you out of a really bad habit that you've got, which might be to be saying no to any opportunity that you usually have coming your way. Now, many years ago, I read a book from a guy called Danny Wallace, and uh, the book's called Yes Man. And every now and again, I always go back to uh, to reading this book for, for inspiration if I sort of feel... Um, a little bit lost or demotivated when I don't feel that I've got opportunities coming my way. And the book essentially tells the story of uh, of Danny, which maybe what was also easier to relate to is because we've got the same name. Um, but Danny says no to lots of opportunities and then he has an encounter on a bus with a guy who essentially tells him to say yes more. And because of that epiphany that he has he sets himself this challenge of saying yes to every opportunity um, and uh, lo and behold by saying yes to more things it opened up more doors to more amazing opportunities that he had and then it kind of uh, leads the story into that eventually he ends up finding someone that he sort of falls in love with um, and they have a bit of kind of like she goes to one country he's in London and and they, they're struggling to meet but by saying yes to more opportunities it leads him to go and see her and then they end up falling in love properly and I don't know if they live happily ever after I have to actually have a look at that but um, it is just a, a beautiful concept to consider that perhaps maybe you know you haven't had the opportunities that you were hoping for in life because you've turned them down you've said no to them or you've just avoided them completely so why not consider the idea of saying yes more, okay? Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to read the book. I mean, I, I highly recommend that you do read the book. It is such, uh, the, the level of entertainment and humor that, that's in it, and just even some of the stories are just so out there, it's great. Um, but even if the book isn't for you, um, it actually got turned into a movie many years ago, and it starred Jim Carrey, and you know, Jim Carrey's an amazing actor nonetheless. So if you aren't interested in reading the book and you've got like an hour and a half spare, I highly recommend sit and watch the movie. In fact, it'd make a great Christmas movie um, to sort of sit with some popcorn and maybe some mulled wine um, and, uh, and, just avoid, uh, and just enjoy something that's just so um, entertaining and certainly inspiring as well. But why not then take what you could learn from either the book or the movie or just this idea of saying yes more and apply it into your new year into 2024. So years ago when I was actually reading this book, um, it opened up doors for me. Um, in fact, if people were to actually have a look on my Facebook or maybe I've actually got it on my Instagram, if not, I might have to put a photo up. But years ago, I was able to, or I was actually invited to speak at the Google campus, uh, giving advice to about 200 plus people on YouTube strategy. Now, what people don't know is that it was because I kept saying yes to opportunities that led to me doing public speaking, which I was petrified of doing because uh, I wouldn't consider myself a public speaker but I did it and then I got asked at another event to speak at the next one and I said yes I was incredibly well if I don't lie I was shitting myself afterwards I was just like what the hell have I done what have I done but that then after my fourth one and this is in the space of maybe like two months I then went to speaking at the Google campus in London. And that was like one of the most phenomenal experiences I think I've ever had. I've never stood in front of such a crowded room before and I did it. Now I was so anxious prior to every event that I spoke at. And trust me when I say, I would have much preferred to have said no. But because of reading this book and seeing the movie, I stuck to my guns and I said, you know what? Let's just say yes, Let, let's do it. Let's figure out the rest afterwards. And I did it. And you know what? It really did instill such confidence in me because 
I threw myself into a situation that I was absolutely petrified over and I came out of the other end still alive and doing a feat that I never would have deemed possible before. Now, I'm not saying either that you have to be saying yes to doing public speaking, but if, let's say, you do have whatever opportunities come forward, consider saying yes and figure out everything else that you need to afterwards. Do you need to practice something more? You know, if you've got a guy, let's say you've naturally got a wing, I've got the hiccups. I swear, every time I talk for long periods of time, I always end up getting trapped air, which is such an overshare. <laughs> um, I, so imagine you've got a guy who says to you, right, I want to go out and practice my social skills. Let's go out and do some day game or cold approaching and see what we get. Now, for the very beginners or the guys who are maybe very anxious or insecure, it would be very easy to find reasons to get out of it, find reasons to say no, oh, I'm busy that day, oh, I can't do it, oh, I'm not ready yet, and all this and that. And you'll realize, or what I want you to recognize even, is just how many excuses of no's you might give yourself. But how easy it would be to just say yes and be like, okay, yeah, let, let's do it. And then when you put yourself into that circumstance, you are giving yourself that opportunity to grow and challenge yourself as well in a, in a comfort zone that you haven't really experienced before or lack of comfort zone that you haven't experienced before. So I recommend reading the book. So there it is again, you know, try and make that the thumbnail. Um, so definitely give that a read. Um, uh, put it in your uh, your Christmas stockings or request it as a Christmas present perhaps. Um, but it really is such a motivational book, I think. It's so inspiring when uh, just literally changing a minuscule element of your mindset um, and even just your ideologies in general um, I, it, it's just phenomenal how big of a difference that that can make just by saying yes to more opportunities and putting yourself then into more social situations or uncomfortable situations. Um, and if the book's not for you, then definitely give uh, Jim Carrey's movie uh, a watch as well. Um, it's not exactly like for like for the book, but it's certainly a really good interpretation of it and uh, and I'd highly recommend watching that as well. So check out the book, check out the movie, um, learn to say yes more if you're not saying yes already. And if anything, I'd love to actually hear in the comments below how this challenge to yourself works out for you. And I could bet in the comments below that things will go tremendously well. You will have some really bizarre experience, no doubt about it, or bizarre experiences, I should say, but overall, you are gonna be putting yourself into some great situations in life, and you're gonna have plenty of funny stories to be able to tell people as well. And it give yourself a window of time to set this challenge. I think always, when I would do it, it'd be like three, four months, and again, it's amazing what can happen when you are saying yes to everything within reason though of course because you know if people start saying like, oh yeah can you give me a million pound and you're like yeah yeah that's not gonna work <laughs> so um so obviously within reason but i'd love to hear in the comments below how it works for you and if you can do please like the video and subscribe to the channel um, i'm gonna be putting out a few more videos certainly before the new year but of course look forward to content that is certainly, most definitely going to be helping you to overcome your dating anxiety in the new year.